Sophia is deciding between two testing system options to purchase. The first has a capital cost of $2 million with an annual maintenance cost of $75,000. The second is a lease option with a down payment of $250,000 and payments of $204,000 annually. Assuming that the equipment will be used for 15 years and using a present worth analysis with a 6% interest rate, the most accurate answer is the following. A. The purchase option is better by $500,000. B. The lease option is better by $500,000. C. The lease option is worse by $185,000. Or D. Both options are financially comparable. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will discuss engineering economics. Engineering economics is a subset of economics concerned with the use and application of economic principles in the analysis of engineering decisions. It focuses on the branch of economics known as microeconomics in that it studies the behavior of individuals and firms in making decisions regarding the allocation of limited resources to justify the economic viability of each potential solution. Considering the time value of money is central to most engineering economic analyses, cash flows are discounted using an interest rate. Costs as well as revenues are considered for each alternative for an analysis period that is either a fixed number of years or the estimated life of the project. The salvage value is often forgotten but is important and is either the net cost or revenue for decommissioning the project. Engineering economics is an important part of the manufacturing sector of the economy and major topics in engineering economics are the economics of the management and operations and growth and profitability of engineering firms, macro level engineering economic trends and issues, the development, marketing and financing of new engineering technologies and products, and ultimately benefit cost ratios. Sophia is deciding on these two options, both of which have present costs as well as annual costs going into the future. This problem asks us to do a present worth analysis with a given interest rate and time frame. Ultimately, we need to get the present cost of the annual payments of each option over the life of the project and then compare the final cost of each to determine which is the best option. Here's the primary equation that we will be using, which is called the present value of annuity formula. It determines the value of a series of future periodic payments at a given time. The present value of annuity formula relies on the concept of time value of money and that $1 at its present day value is worth more than that same dollar at a future date. The variable R equals the interest rate over the life of the project, and N are the number of periods that the interest rate will be used over. For this scenario, the interest rate is 6%, and the variable N will equal 15 for the number of years for the life of the project. So we plug this information into the equation, and we get the following which will be the factor that we will multiply the annuity payment by to get the present day value of the annuities. So we have the factor to multiply with the annual payment for each option to get its present worth and we can add this to the upfront payment of each and we get the following. Based on our present worth analysis, the leasing option is the least expensive by approximately $500,000. Therefore, the most accurate statement is answer B. Join us for episode 42 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.